High definition microscopy can be achieved with the use of a high definition camera mounted onto a microscope of your choice. In this case we have a zoom microscope mounted on a support stand uh, and boomed out over a special table that allows us to scan large circuit boards uh, smoothly and efficiently uh, again for large objects such as large circuit boards, works of art, uh, anything that's large uh, that you want to move very precisely uh, can be uh, used with this system. The zoom system is a 6 to 1 zoom microscope uh, which has variable front optics and variable C-mount back ends but the most important component aside from the microscope is in fact the camera itself. This is a latest state-of-the-art HD camera which is defined as 1920 by 1080p. Uh, this is set up for the large screen 169 uh, formatted uh, display monitors. You could also use this with uh, uh, the latest 169 HD DLP projectors. Uh, but in this case, let's keep it simple. We're just using an HD computer display, 24 inch, with this microscope and this camera. This is an interesting camera in that we can uh, not only do real time live broadcasts, here you can see us moving the sample, but we also have with this system a built in SD card which allows us to. Uh, take a photograph at any time just by pushing the remote tethered release that comes with the camera. So all you really need to supply uh, aside from the microscope uh, and the camera uh, is in fact an HDMI cable and a suitable display monitor or displayer of some sort such as a projector. Now, uh, I think where this gets interesting is using high definition real time uh, as a teaching tool. And in order to do that, we use this black box down here that you see on the shelf. Uh, this is a USA made uh, product that allows us to take the camera signal, run it through the black box, and then uh, out of the black box, to the uh, displayer and of course this is all zoom so you can quickly uh, zoom in and out on the features that you want and uh, with such a system now in place let's get a good shot of the displayer we can now plug into the black box a keyboard that allows us to go in and type text uh, as we see fit or we can actually go in and move an arrow in position using a standard two button mouse that plugs into the back of the system so we can either use the keypad to move that cursor arrow wherever we want or we can use the mouse to move wherever we want. Now for annotation and highlighting things we can use the mouse to uh, do on-screen drawing and we use the two button mouse to backtrack and delete it. We can go in and type in text uh, as you see fit we can change the colors, we can change the size of the arrows, we can change the width of the annotation. Right now I have it on its thickest uh, setting. And this allows the uh, instructor or the teacher to do uh, online annotations to highlight important parts or important features in real time. This is all, this is not a digital image, there's no computer involved. 
we can quickly delete those marks by using the right hand mouse button. We can also bring into the equation as an option to the keyboard and the two button mouse a digitizing tablet that is connected to the black box and now what we use is a I'm going to back this zoom lens down a bit now what we use is a stylus and we can go in and do basically the same thing and this would be for someone who just wants to uh, make on-screen annotations without the typewriter feature probably a little more user-friendly and we can quickly clear all annotations okay so I think you get the idea those are the two options keyboard plus two button mouse or the <coughs> excuse me or the digitizing tablet so, uh, such a system makes a great teaching tool and gets you into the world of high-definition, real-time video display.